Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and we're here for game four between the, the 2019 Detroit Tigers and the 1962 New York Mets. If you've been following the series on my channel, you know that the Mets come into this game up three games to nothing. So if they win here, that's the end of the series. So Detroit is really on the ropes, and they will lead off with... Jacoby Jones. Um, the pitchers today will be Matt Boyd for Detroit. He pitched in game one, but they're desperate, so they have to bring him back instead of going to a fourth starting pitcher. However, the Mets are playing with house money, and they will be pitching Bob L. Miller and holding off Roger Craig for an extra day if needed. So, Jacoby Jones... And he gets a 6-4 on Miller, which is a fly ball center field, one away. And that brings up uh, Jordy Mercer, who gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. So that's the first strikeout for Bob Miller. And that brings up Harold Castro, and he gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball. So... The side is retired for Detroit in the first. And uh, the 62 Mets come into bat with Richie Ashburn. The Mets will have the same exact lineup as they had last time, except with a different pitcher batting. 6'11 on Boyd is first base X. The first baseman is a 2. And that is an 11. And that's going to be something. That's a one base error by... Um, Oh no, it's Brandon Dixon. He's a three. Okay. So 11 and three is an out. So Ashburn is out. One away. I thought he was a two. Charlie Neal's up and that's a three five, which is a single. So the Mets have their first base runner and first hit by Charlie Neal. Void giving up the hit. And Boyd got his butt handed to him in the first game. So hopefully they're looking for a better, Detroit is looking for a better performance from him this time. Jim Hickman up, and that's a 5-7, which is a strikeout, two away. And with two down and a man at first, Frank Thomas is up and he gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball, A, to the third baseman. So he's out. And no runs come across for the Mets. We go to the top of the second in a scoreless game. Nobody's really threatened yet. Ronnie Rodriguez up and he gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball to short. That brings up Brandon Dixon, who gets a 210, which is a double one to seven or a single. And that's going to be a single. So Dixon with a hit. First hit allowed by Bob Miller. One man on, one out. And that brings up Christian Stewart, who is back from injury, 6 8. And that's a triple one to eight or a single. That's going to be a single double asterisk by um, Christian Stewart. And Miller gives up his second hit. Now the Detroit Tigers have runners at the corners with one out and John Hicks up. And that's a 1-6, which is a strikeout. And that's two away. And that brings up Yimer Candelario, and he strikes out as well. And so they get out of the inning without scoring any runs. And the Mets get out of the inning without giving up any runs. 
we go to the bottom of the second in a 0-0 tie with Gil Hodges up at the plate and he gets a 4-8 on Boyd which is a walk so Hodges takes the walk first walk issued this game by Boyd Felix Mantia is up and he gets a 6-12 which is a strikeout strange place for a strikeout Elio Chacon gets a strikeout, and so Boyd strikes out the next two guys after allowing a leadoff runner on. And Boyd is pitching much better this game than he did in game one. And Canizaro is up, and he is going to be grounding out to third base. And we go to the top of the third, still scoreless, and Matt Boyd up the plate. And that's a 4-9, which is a double 1-9 or a single. And that is a single for Matt Boyd. Third hit allowed by Bob Miller, no outs, and Jacoby Jones strikes out plus injury. They don't really need that, and he'll stay in the game, but he does strike out. So there's one down, one on, Jordy Mercer up, 5-9 on Bob Miller is a home run, automatic home run for Jordy Mercer. And uh, and if you've been following, you know that Jordy Mercer, well, actually, he's a power end, so it doesn't matter. That would have been a home run even in the advanced game. So, uh, so yeah, they got two runs there. So Harold Castro up with only one out. 5-8 is a home run, one or a fly ball. And that's going to be a fly ball. So there's two down. And Ronnie Rodriguez. Is that right? Yeah. And then 3-7 on Roddy Rodriguez is a single one to 10. And he does get a hit. So Rodriguez is aboard. Miller gives up his fifth hit. And that brings up Brandon Dixon. And that's a 4-5, which is a strikeout. Miller with the strikeout, and but he allows two runs to Detroit there in the top of the third. We go to the bottom of the third, and the score is 2 0, the Detroit Tigers leading. And that brings up Bob Miller, who's 3 5 and gets an out. And that is a, uh, if you're scoring at home, that's a ground ball to short. One away, Ashburn up, that's a 4-11, which is a fly ball to right. The right fielder is um, Harold Castro, who is a 3. And that is a 19-3. and three. That's roll again. 19-3 and three is roll again. 16-3 and three is an out two away. So Ashburn is out. And that brings up Neal. And he gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a strikeout. Charlie Neal. So that is it. And Boyd strikes out his fourth guy and allows no runs through three. So he is pitching much better. 
this game, and Detroit needs it. And that brings up Brandon Dixon, and he gets a 4-7, which is a walk. Dixon with a walk. Bob Miller not pitching very well here. Christian Stewart, 5-4, shortstop X. Shortstop is a 4 for New York. That's going to be something big. That's going to be a single 2. Stewart with the single. And he's 2 for 2 on the day. And Miller has a similar situation to what he had earlier, runners at the corners, except this time with no outs. And that's a 6-10, which is a fly ball left field C, so that isn't enough to score the guy or move anybody anywhere. So there's one out, and they will play the infield back, trying to get the double play. And that's a 4-7, which is a walk, which loads the bases. Candelario with a walk. And up steps the pitcher, and that's Boyd, and he gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. And they were fortunate that Boyd came up right at that moment. And Jacoby Jones is up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. So he struck out, Bob Miller has struck out seven guys, but... He's allowed two earned runs, which have proved to be the difference so far in this game. Jim Hickman is up in, uh, in the bottom of the fourth. And that's a 210, and he's out. He um, grounds out to short. One away. Frank Thomas, 5-10, which is a fly ball center field, and the uh, center fielder is a 2, and that's going to be an out for Frank Thomas. Two away, and uh, Gil Hodges at the plate, 4-5, strikes out. And that is a strikeout. For Boyd, who is pitching very well, he's only allowed one hit and one walk while striking out five through the first four innings. Jordy Mercer comes to the plate. Miller has bent big time and broken a little bit once, but it's still only 2 nothing. And Mercer's got a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher, and he is a 2 defensively, and that's a 6, so he's out. One away and Castro up, 5-5, five, five. that's a strikeout. That's the eighth strikeout for Miller, which is crazy because, well, he's only allowed two runs. It's not that bad. 6-7, and that's a fly ball right field for Ronnie Rodriguez. So the side is retired, no runs in the fifth. Detroit still holds a slim 2-0 lead. Felix Mantia up, and that's a 6-8, which is a strikeout. Strikeout by Boyd. Chacon, 6-5, and that's going to be an automatic home run for Chacon. And that's only the second hit he's allowed. And Chacon was a week against both, but we're playing elementary, so we're playing the basic version of the game. So that would be uh, that would be an out. And Canizaro is up, and he gets a two nine, which is a strikeout. I think that's two away. Seventh strikeout for Boyd. And that brings up Miller, and he gets a 2-3, which is a foul out to the catcher. But New York strikes for a run there, and the score is now 2-1. Very close game.
Brandon Dixon up, 5-6, strikes out. Ninth strikeout for Bob Miller. Incredible. What is this guy? 144 innings. He struck out 91, but he struck out way more than that pace. 4-4 four, four is a fly ball center. That is going to Ashburn, who's a 3. That's an 18. And that's going to be a roll again. That's going to be a, that's a 16. It's probably an out, and it is. So Stewart has been retired for the first time today. That's two away. And John Hicks is up, and that's a strikeout. Tenth, incredible, tenth strikeout for Bob Miller. And we go to the bottom of the sixth, two to one. The Mets leading, Richie Ashburn up. Six, eight is a strikeout. And that's the eighth strikeout for Boyd. Both pitchers pitching quite well here. Neal, Charlie Neal gets a five, seven, which is a strikeout two away. Unreal. And uh, Jim Hickman. 110 is a triple one or a double. That'll be a double. So Hickman gets only the third hit off of Boyd. And that brings up Frank Thomas, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a home run, 1-12, to 12, or a double. And that's a home run. And Frank Thomas does have the power to hit the home run. And they take the lead. The Mets take the lead 3-2. to two. With Gil Hodges up and he gets a 5-7, which is a strikeout. Tenth strikeout for Boyd. But the Mets strike for two, and they have a 3-2 to two lead going into the top of the seventh. Detroit hanging on elimination here. Um, Candelario with a 5-6 is a strikeout. The 11th strikeout for Bob Miller. He is caning people left and right. 1-9 is a single for Boyd. They let him hit which they really have to because any relief pitcher they bring in is just going to crap the pot. So, um, And that's his second hit of the game anyway. So, Jacoby Jones gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout, two away. Twelfth strikeout for Bob Miller, and that brings up three seven is uh, Mercer, and he flies to left. So they get no runs on the seventh, despite uh, Boyd trying to help out with a single of his own. Felix Mantia is up, and that's a four seven, which is a single one to four, and that's an out, one away. Brings up Ed Chacon, and that's a 6-7, which is a strikeout. Elio Chacon. Sorry. Boyd with his 11th strikeout. And Canizaro up, and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So you see what I mean about Boyd. They had to let him hit because they had to keep him in the game. I mean, the score is 3-2, to two and it's not really Boyd's fault. So, well, it is. He gave up two home runs. But Harold Castro is up, and that's 1-7. It's a strikeout. Thirteenth strikeout for Bob Miller. Ronnie Rodriguez, 5-9. 
5-9 is an automatic home run for Ronnie Rodriguez. And Bob Miller comes back to, to uh, bite them in the butt. So, um, he's given up his second home run, and that's a tie game now. With one out and Dixon up. And he gets a 2-6, which is a single. Miller gives up his ninth hit right there. Christian Stewart is up, and that's a 3-8, which is a strikeout. Fourteenth strikeout for Bob Miller. And that brings up Hicks, and he gets a 5-10, which is a catcher's card, X. And the catcher is Canis Chris Canizaro, who's a 2. And that is a 10 and 2, which is an out. So Hicks is out. But the Tigers tie the game. And now that was a very critical decision for Detroit to keep Boyd in. Because now they're in a tie game with Boyd pitching great. And with uh, the Mets pitcher coming up, they are going to pinch hit. And they're going to pinch hit with Marv Throneberry. So, that is a 3-3, three, three, which is an out. One away. Brings up Richie Ashburn. And he gets a 3-4, which is a walk. So they have one man on with one out. Second walk for Boyd, that's it. Charlie Neal is up, and that's a 6-10, which is a catcher card, X. Their catcher is Hicks, and he is a 4. That's an 18. 18 and 4 is, is foul out. So, Neal is out. And Jim Hickman's up, and that's a 5-4, which is a third base, X. And their third baseman is... Yimer Candelario, who's a three, and that's going to be something. That's going to be a single two. So the Mets have runners at the corners with two away. Hickman got a hit. Fifth hit allowed by Boyd. Frank Thomas is up, and he gets a 4-8, which is a walk to load the bases. you got to believe Boyd is probably tiring, but they've got to stick with him. They don't really have much of a choice, and that's a 4-12, which is a ground ball to short. And their shortstop is Mercer, who's a 4, and that's a 15. That might sting. Nope, it doesn't. That's an out. So Hodges is out on the play. And they are going to go to the bullpen. The Mets will go to the bullpen. And they will bring in um, huh. they're going to bring in Bob Moorhead. Who was warming up last game but never did get into the game. And um, Miller went, um, he went eight innings and struck out 14, but allowed nine hits, two walks, and two home runs. And only three earned runs, so it really wasn't that bad. And Moorhead is a pitcher batting one, so they will just insert the pitcher's hitting card where it goes, and Detroit is up in the top of the ninth in a tie game.
Candelario up, and that's a 210, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And he's out. The pitcher is up, and that's a 1 9, and that's a single. So, Boyd, they're going to stick with Boyd because, you know, they got to. But not only that, he's 3 for 4. Jacoby Jones gets a 2 9, which is a single. So, they got a little rally going here, too. Two runners on with only one out. And Mercer up, and he gets a 4-5 on Moorhead, which is a ground ball second base C. Moves runners to second and third. And up steps Harold Castro, and that's a 6-8, which is a fly ball to the left fielder for the out. So Castro is out. Detroit gets no runs in the ninth, and now we go to the bottom of the ninth. If the Mets get one run, they win this series in a sweep. Mantia up, and he gets a 3-3, which is a walk. That brings up Elio Chacon, and he gets a 1-7, which is also a walk. Not good. Boyd is now in trouble. And with Canizaro up, they are going to um, they're going to sacrifice. And that's an eight on the sacrifice chart, which is batters thrown out by first baseman. Runners advance one. So now there are runners at second and third with one out. And with that. The pitcher is coming up, and they are going to pinch hit for Bob Moorhead. With Ed Cannell, or Rod Cannell. So Rod Cannell will pinch hit. The Tigers will bring the infield in, obviously. And that is a 310, which is a double 1 to 10, single double asterisk. And the Mets win the game and win the series. Um, and Boyd gives up um, five runs. Valiant effort by Boyd, but in a losing cause. And the final score is the um, New York Mets of 1962-5 and the 2019 Detroit Tigers 3, Detroit gets swept by the 62 Mets.